हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम आई बाई लेक्चर जोलॉजी टूडे योर टॉपिक इज एमिनो सेंटेंसेस फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व इफ यू को डिफाइन द एमिनो सेंटेंसेस इट इज द टेक्निक टू डिटरमाइन इट इज द टेक्निक to determine it is the technique to determine first sequence of developing verb sequence of developing verb it is the technique to determine sequence of developing verb and second point is second point is genetically controlled congenital disease genetically controlled genetically controlled genetically controlled congenital diseases congenital disease which suffered before birth and third third is third point is metabolic disorder in fetus metabolic 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 disorder of fetus so if we go explain brief amino synthesis it is the prenatal before birth it is the prenatal before birth it is the prenatal before birth test rather we say technique in which small amount of amniotic fluid in which in which small amount in which small amount of amniotic amniotic fluid in which small amount of small amount of amniotic fluid is removed from the sac is removed from the sac is removed from the sac surrounding the fetus for testing after 14th after 14th or 15th after 14th or 15th week of conception week of conception at the pregnancy the sample of amniotic fluid jo sample amniotic fluid less than less than 25 ml less than 25 ml it may be 20 ml 22 ml or 18 ml but less than 25 ml is removed is removed is eliminated through a fine needle inserted into the uterus ins inserted into the uterus through abdomen under the ultrasound guidance under the ultrasound guidance ultrasound guidance gives the radiologist to know the how to operate the the machine ultrasonic guidance and the fluid is sent to the laboratory jo fluid hota hai amniotic fluid ye phir laboratory mein it is it go for laboratory and then for analysis to see to observe in the laboratory to analysis different test can be performed on the sample bahut sare test is sample par kiya jata hai and this and 
hematic fluid. This performed a sample hematic fluid, dependency or genetic risk, and indication for the test. You know that amniotic amino, amino synthesis is performed to look, look for different types of birth, births, such as we see Down syndrome, Kelly-Fellner syndrome, and Turner syndrome, single cell anemia, hemophilia, etc. Because immunosynthesis present a small risk, mother and fetus, mother and child who is inside the mother's womb. Who has significant, significant risk for genetic disease, including those who have an abnormal ultrasound, jinko abnormal ultrasound hoga under the guide. And first point is have, have a family history of certain birth defects. And if, if any knows we have the birth defects in our family. This means the genetic, genetic disease, transmitter characters from parent to offsprings, or disease which are transported from generation to generation. And second point is, have previously had a child, have previously had a child or pregnancy with birth defects. And it is already birth defect, child already born and born. And third point is, a person, a woman, who have age 35 years, who have age 35 years or above, or above, or above, may suffer a birth defects. Because you know that if we both say no, they go for marriage in the longer age, 35 or 40 years, they have chances of the abnormality child, little person of chance. As per genetic. However, if, if we find these defects in this amenito fluid which we have taken from Mother Swam for laboratory, then doctor advises us MTP. MTP stands for medical termination pregnancy. Medical termination for pregnancy. We go for abortion or we say the medical termination pregnancy by an expert doctor, by a gynecologist. And however, this technique has been misused. In our country, this technique has been misused, used by so many people. So many people for knowing, for knowing sex of a Fetus and destroy the sand. When Japan ko pata chalta hai ki inside the mother's womb there is the female, then they then they destroy this fetus. They kill the female. It is unfortunate. And you all you all know that in in our society. About 10 to 12 percent of people, or before 40 or 30 years, in some families, it is an admitted fact that girls receive altogether different treatment from the boy right from the girl. It is also observed that birth of a girl clouds on the face of feminine girls, whereas if the boy is born, joyful atmosphere takes place. And also, we have seen in some families birth of a daughter, in some families are seen as diabetes, whereas birth of a son is seen as acidus. And also birth of son is celebrated in different ways. And also boys we have seen in our society, boys are allowed to play, but girls are confined, expected, confined to city at home. And I have already seen that. In some families, little bit, the girls are given high caloric diet as compared of girls. Because 
in our society, they, they feel that girls are considered and burdened, whereas boys are seen, seen as the essence. And also, because, because I have, I quote one of the great personality, Napoleon, he said that, give me 100 LGBT women, I will give a strong nation. So, no doubt, I myself loves daughter than son. And I have, I, have, I have told you that this technique has been banned in our country. And it has been banned except in genetic laboratory. Because in genetic laboratory, they go for research there and other it has been banned. And I already told you, I will go for brief this immunosynthesis. It aminotic fluid can be taken out from the mother's form. How aminotic fluid they take mother's form without causing any damage on the fetus by using a special surgical needle. We insert a special surgical needle around the fetus and take the aminotic fluid. Small quantity of aminotic fluid. I have already told you how much quantity. Aminotic fluid. Fluid contains fetal cells. It's my fetal cells for the placenta cells. You know that placenta, it is the communication between mother and womb. It is meant for respiration, nutrition, and, and other connection of mother's oxygen. It takes respiration, nutrition, excretion, and also the fetal cells. The fetal cells, fluid containers, the fetal cells, placenta cells, fetal enzymes, proteins, and other biochemical fetal cells. And then cultured for chromosome analysis. Hum isko pure culture karte hai, chromosome analysis karte hai, jo ye hum sample nikalte hai mother's womb se. And then and and checker for detecting any possible abnormality or metabolic disorder. Then and and then give information about sex and chromosomal abnormality. Analysis of this analysis provides us, gives information us about the metabolic disorder. If Peter suffers incurable gen incurable genetic disease like this hemophilia, this Down syndrome, Kellner syndrome, sickle cell anemia, and this hemophilia, then then doctor advises the patient to go for MTP, medic, medical termination of pregnancy under the under the medical guidance. We go for the post medical guidance. And also I I first hear this abortion the term and this miscarriage abortion and fetocide. You know the miscarriage. Miscarriage is sudden. It is the it is the spontaneous loss of women's pregnancy before twenty before twenty week. Before twenty week that can be physically and mentally painful. It is common type of the pregnancy loss and often causing because this some sort of disturbance in the body. If we go for abortion, abortion is the abortion is the we we go for abortion when we find if any person one had two child could not want want more then he go for abortion. This is the one cause. Second cause is second cause is a couple they know the inside inside the body is female, then they go for abortion. And third is Fetocide. Fetocide is the abortion of female. Fetus illegal abortion is called abortocide. Female fetocide is the process of abortion to terminate female fetus from the womb of mother before birth. After the second termination, that's like ultrasound scan, female fetocide, and and even any second termination is legal in India. In India, in our country, it is legal to know the sex of a child before birth. 
it is completely illegal and is punishable offense in our country. So this is a brief. Uh, I have I have described it in a brief. I hope you have you have you, you have understand you have understood it in a better way. Thank you.